Hey guys, welcome back to this recent linen channel. I'm Janelle and today I'm going to show you a twill pattern that is super simple and you don't need a paper pattern for. So let's get started. This twill pattern is a really simple one and the whole base of it is over two, under two, over two, under two. But we're going to keep staggering the rows so that we get this nice angle. So we're going to start with our under two, over two. I have warped an odd amount of warp strings. I tried this with an even amount of strings and the edges just never look as nice. So if you can do it with an odd amount of strings, but you can certainly figure it out for even as well. So we're just going to go under two, over two, all the way across. And you can see at the end here, I'm ending up with under one. Now all we're going to do is start staggering the row to the right or to the left, whichever you choose. I'm going to go to the right and we're just going to be staggering everything one warp string over. So you can see here, I am over these two warp strings. So I'm going to scooch over and I want to be over these two warp strings in the next row. So in order to do that, I'm just going to do whatever I need to do on these edge strings to get to that. So I'm going to go over one, under one, and then over two, under two, the rest of the way across. All right, so again, I'm over these two strings with my weft here. I now want to scooch over one and be over these ones. So I'm going to go over these two and under these two all the way across. So with an odd amount of warp strings, that's just the edge strings are basically acting as our floating warp. And I talked about that a lot in the diamond twill pattern. It's just kind of giving you a symmetrical weave. All right. So this time around we were over these two. So we're going to scooch over and we want to be over these two. So that would be over, under, over, but see, you can tell my string is coming over here. So I'm just going to go under one, over one, under two, over two, and then under two, over two, the rest of the way. I was over these two in the last row. So now I want to be over these two and that works out that I can go under these two and over these two. You can start to see our pattern coming through and it's literally just a simple 45 degree angle line. So now we were over these ones and I want to be over these ones. So I'm going to go over one, under one, and then over two, under two. So now I want to be over these two. So we're going to go over two, under two. And again, we were over these two in the last row. I want to be over these two. So over, under, over. But we're going to have to go under one, over one, then start our under two, over two. really start to see those lines coming through and you can keep going like this and the lines will just continue on or you can start to go the other way giving you kind of this chevron shape so let's do that now so now we're gonna scooch everything to the left so this was over these two now I want to be over these two so I'm gonna start to do that over two under two scooch everything to the left again. So I was over over top of these two strings and now I want to be over top of these two. So that's over, under, over, but we're going to do some, we're going to go under this one, over this one, and then start our under two, over two. And once again, over these two, we're going to scooch to the left and we want to be over these two and that works out to go under two, over two. So here, because my string is coming under this string, we're going to go over one, under one, and then start our over two, under two, over two. And you can see we're starting to get that chevron shape there. So if you want to make this chevron symmetrical, you can just count your rows leading up to this point. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. So I need one, two, three, four. I need three more rows for this to be 
a symmetrical chevron and you can keep going back and forth with this if you like. So I'm over these two, I'm scooching over, so now I can go over two, under two. And again, scooching over to these two, over two, under two, over two, but we need to do the under one, over one at the edge here just to get to where we want to be. Now we want to be over these two, so we're going to go under one, oh sorry, under two, over two. Never worrying about the edge being perfect part of the pattern, you just need to get to where you're going to continue on with your pattern. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we have a symmetrical chevron shape there. And you can see this is a super easy stitch. You really don't need a pattern for it. You just need to keep moving over one string every row. And that is a super simple twill pattern. I chose to make this chevron really big, but you can stop at three rows and go back and then go back and forth like that. You can do it unevenly. It's whatever you want to do. You do you, like I always tell you guys. And that's our super easy twill pattern that you don't even need a paper pattern for. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.